So, I decided to do this channel to kind of start showing things. I've been working on cars uh, since I was probably like 13 years old. Um, been working as a mechanic off and on over the years. I did about 10 years as a aircraft mechanic, uh, full time. Uh, now I'm not, but I started a couple years ago picking up cars that have been around here um, for cheap or free. They've been broken. They need simple repairs. People just don't want to spend the money. The labor cost would be too much. So I can get them pretty cheap, put some money into them, and either keep them because I needed a car or sell them just to make some cash on them. Um, you know, the parts don't cost that much. It's usually labor, especially when mechanics are charging, you know, a couple hundred bucks an hour to fix a car. Older cars it just doesn't seem worth it. So, um, just gonna start showing some of the stuff I'm doing because I figure, man, maybe somebody else is interested in simple fixes and cheap repairs and stuff like that. So, um, show you around a little bit and show you the cars that I got right now and the current project, and we'll move into what I'm gonna work on today, and we'll do some more in the future as I uh, as I get more cars. I got a couple of projects lined up already um, to do after these ones are done. So, this was a project I picked up a couple of a month ago maybe or so 2000 GMC Sierra extended cab four-wheel drive 1500 had needed lots and lots of work uh, basically had been uh, neglected for a couple years needed windshield and rear window and brakes simple stuff well, except for the windows but I had the shop do those those were no big deal um, you know just mirror and just interior stuff at any rate got that thing um, cause it just needed a bunch of miscellaneous work done to it to make it nice. Now the body's rough, but the rest of it mechanically sound. I'm waiting on one part for that and that thing will be getting sold. Make a nice work truck for somebody. Um, up next here is my S10. I got that last fall about a year ago. Again, a cheap truck. Um, got it for like 200 bucks had a blown tranny that was it so through the magic of youtube i learned how to rebuild a 4l60e rebuilt that 4l60e in that truck and put it back in and it's a good second vehicle for us right now <clears throat> um, my daughter actually drives it most of the time but that also led me to um rebuild somebody else's 4l60e because they we're like, hey, you can rebuild the tranny? Sweet, I'll have you rebuild my tranny. Um, and then our latest project here is this uh, Focus. Just picked that up this week. Um, it had a bad mildew issue on the inside from a bought water leak. Outside, it's a pretty decent car. Um, it's a 2006 Ford Focus. It needs a power steering pump. That's what's wrong with it. I'm sort of letting it air out. Cleaned it all out. Got all the mold and everything out of it. But um, still is a little damp in there. Um, so, yeah. Not a bad little focus. Needs a power steering pump. And that's about it. Um, the water leak, actually, for anybody who's interested in this, seemed to be coming from this area here where this dent is in the body. Um come down here and take a look there there's a there's a vent back there most cars have a couple of air vents to let the air out when you turn the heater on well that vent had gotten crushed and broken and because of this dent the water was running down into the vent and running inside the car so uh i just pulled the old broken vent out of there covered it up with a bunch of uh gorilla tape and that should eliminate the water problem. Any kind of leaks around here, especially bad, because we get hundreds of inches of rain a year, and cars will just fill up from sitting outside in torrential downpours. So, um, yeah, so we're going to go work on this car. Got the parts in, throw a power steering pump in, and it should be ready to go.